Hello data lovers, so I am back with another super amazing tutorial video and in today's video you will learn how to create a basic data pipeline in just few minutes. So make sure to watch this video till the very end because you will definitely learn a lot from this video especially if you are a beginner. So in this tutorial video we will create a data pipeline where we will read the data from the API, we'll apply basic transformation and then load it into the Postgres database and we will create this data pipeline on a really amazing open source platform mage so mage is a brand new open source platform in the industry where you can integrate and synchronize data from third party sources you can build real time and batch data pipeline to transform data using python r and sql and also it is really powerful in workflow management and orchestration of data pipeline so let's see how we can create a working data pipeline on mage in no time and don't worry whatever steps i will be following in this tutorial including the github repository of mage I will provide all these details in the document form in the video description so don't forget to check it out but first complete this tutorial video so that you can also do it seamlessly. So here is the github repository of mage and if you go down here we will see the quick steps to install and set up mage on our local platform. So there are two ways one with the help of pip another using the docker and this is actually the recommended one so I'll go ahead with this one. I will copy this command and first you need to make sure that docker is installed in your machine and it is up and running. So I have copied it and will go to the terminal and in the desktop I will create one more folder API to Postgres ingestion. Let's go inside this one and here I will paste this docker command and I will name this project to the same name and let's run it so it has started setting up the mage in the local environment once the status is running we can open it on this port 6789 and here you can see this is how the mage platform actually looks like so now let's start creating the brand new data pipeline so click on new button and here pick this one standard batch pipeline so this is how the interface will look like. So this pipeline will be having three steps. First is consuming data from the API. Second, applying some transformation and then load it into the Postgres database. So first, in order to consume the data from API, we will be using the data loader block. And here we will choose Python. And inside this one, we can see the option for API. And we can give a name to this data loader block, data from API. Just click. So here you can see the inbuilt template for the data loader and this is the function where we can make changes accordingly and we can add many more functions according to our need. So here we are supposed to consume data from API and Mage has already hosted some restaurant related data which we can access with the help of API. So this is the API and I will provide this link as well. So this is the data will look like what we need to do in this URL attribute. We need to mention this API and once this part is done, we can even execute this data loader block and we can see the output. So let's run it and verify how the data looks like and how it is fetching the data from this API. So we can see the sample here. So the next step is to do some data transformation and for that one we will be using this transformer block so just click on this one under the row actions we can see the option for filter so simply click on it filter data and click so what i am intended to do here in the input data we can see a column named as rating so for the transformation purpose, what I want to do, I want to filter out only those restaurants record where the rating is more than three. So this is the main code block or the function where we need to write the transformation related steps. So we need to follow this syntax in order to provide the filter condition and in order to apply different different transformation, Mage has different different syntaxes to follow. So you can check those syntaxes on the official documentation page. Here is the link. I will also provide it in the video description. Rating greater than three. So we have applied this one and let's execute this transformer part and here you will be able to see the sample data since it's a sample just to verify and validate how it looks like 
so this part is also done our data loader part is done transformation is done so in order to load the data in postgres database we can click on this data exporter block and here we will pick the option of sql means whatever data is coming from the upstream simply we will query it with the help of sql statement and we'll dump it into the postgres so click on sql and name it data load to postgres and click so here we will see the options so first option the database type which is postgres and here we will pick the profile as default and in this schema we can mention mage and table name is an optional parameter here if table you have already created in your postgres database you can provide that name and schema but here we are going to use the postgres database instance which has been hosted by mage on bit.io we have the credentials for it and we can use it so let's go to the right policy if you keep on appending the data in the target table you can pick the append one or else simply put the replace it will be a sort of overwrite and now here we need to just simply put this sql statement so again this is a different type of syntax which we need to follow in the mage you can read more about it from this documentation page so let's say you have multiple upstreams and first you want to do some operation like joining it together grouping and then load the final data in the postgres database so these will be the names for those upstreams df underscore one df underscore two and many more and here we have only one upstream the transformed data which is coming from the transformer block and we want to just dump that one in the postgres so we have mentioned this one and now click on this one to check whether data is going inside the postgres db or not all right so this is actually failing and the reason is we need to provide the connection details so the question is where to provide those details that will be provided inside this file so if you expand this part you will see the entire code structure for this pipeline and here one file ioconfig.yaml so just open that one you can already see different different parameters are created for different type of connections but simply erase it and you can simply copy paste these postgres credentials and as i said these will be available in the documentation page if you have a postgres db hosted somewhere else so you need to provide those credentials accordingly and after that let's go back to our pipeline and now if we run this data exporter step it should work now and now it is exporting the data and this will be the table name mage.dev.age breeze this automated created name will be the actual table name inside this postgres instance which is hosted on bit.io so let's copy the table name and i am using this application post echo 2 in the macbook so now if i replace this table name where we have loaded our data and first if we do the count star and execute this one so we can see total count is 3700 and originally the data which we had from the api that is somewhere around 10000 records and now if we want to verify how this data looks like in the table we can do some limit 10 and just execute it so we can see the data has been loaded in the postgres table so if you want to check how this pipeline will look like after the completion so this is the lineage of different blocks you will be able to see and how they are connected with each other and here you will see an option to run this pipeline manually or you can schedule this pipeline to run on different different timestamps so let's quickly run this and to show you how it is going to look like so here we can see the status the pipeline is running and we can click on it and here we can see the pipeline has started executing we can see which block is currently executing so first two are completed a third one is actually running which is meant for the data load part and it will be also done very quickly all right so all three blocks are completed and this is how we can create data ingestion pipeline on mage very very quickly so that's what i had in this tutorial video i'm pretty sure you would have enjoyed this and you would have learned a lot that how to design this kind of data ingestion pipeline if you find this video informative then give a thumbs up and let me know in the comment section which tutorial video do you want me to create in the next video i will definitely do that and if you're new to the channel then smash the subscribe button and press the notification icon i will see you guys really soon with another amazing content on data till then just keep exploring data